we're going to talk about Python variable creation, the assignment command, and then we're going to use the type command. So let's create an assign let's create a variable and assign data to it. X equals five. Now I key in the value X and I see that five is in it. What type of data is contained in the variable called X? I key in the type command. Notice when I key in the open parens, I get a little yellow help tip over here telling me what I have to key in, some object name, the X variable. So I key in the letter X, close parens, hit enter, and it tells me that the data inside a variable X is of type integer. Well, that's wonderful. Let's uh, create another variable called y equals 3.14. And let me key in y. That's 3.14. What type of variable is y? It is of type float. z equals single quote. Gary, single quote. I hit enter. z has the word Gary in it. Now, what type of data is in variable z or object z and we see it's of type string str string data is there huh that's interesting what if i key in z2 equals single quote vic but i forget to put the the single quote after vic error message takes place so you have to be pretty careful with that and make sure that you encapsulate your data within single quotes, both ends of the data, if you're king in string data, that is. All right. A is equal to 2. B is equal to 3. A comma B, and I get... 2 and 3 respectively. That's the data in those two variables. Well, what is A plus B? We get a 5. What is A times B? I get A 6. 2 times 3 is 6. What is A minus B? I get a minus 1. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. And what is A divided by 3? Whoa, what is A divided by B? And I get 0.6666. 2 divided by 3 is 0.6. Two thirds. Huh, that is just amazing. What else can I do with this amazing program? I can add, I can multiply, I can divide. Hmm, I can do lots of things with this program. Well, let's find out more in the next lesson. Let's keep this short and sweet. So, uh, thanks for listening. Or listening. And bye-bye now.